Hey guys, it's Three Caliber here, and today we are playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, online is not out yet, but it will be soon. Uh, I apologize eh, in advance. My friend was eating in the majority of these clips, so I salvaged what I could. Uh, like for the video to be longer and have different scenes in it. But uh, basically, this is going to be some raw gameplay, and I hope you enjoy it. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. He, Bro, I'm gonna kill that bitch. He was my husband. Wow. You see the hate play? You seen it though? Yeah. Don't trust a single nigga, dude. <laughs> You're off. So I'm going to do a post commentary uh, for this game because during the game I am very quiet, I'm very fascinated with the story, I'm paying attention. And I'm sorry if uh, it's not the kind of gameplay you want, but I played Red Dead 1, I really liked it, I really liked this campaign, I've already beat it, uh, it's been out for less than like 5 days, uh, nah, it, it was probably a week before I beat the game or so, between class and just hanging out with friends but let's get into it so this is the first train you rob that has passengers on it I get kind of distracted and start searching drawers and tables while John Marston over there is arguing with a passenger nothing on the table anyways There's a few train carts that we have to go through and, you know, steal some, steal some money. They're holding a lot of money on them for this time, uh, robbed a few people, it's mainly the men, uh, they carry the money. Uh, we're at 145 now, and he gives us 163, had, what, over $15, $18, about, on him. And I think if you rob like a bandit or somebody, they'd normally have 63 cents on them or so. So uh, we're making out pretty good on this train. Uh, and as far as the money goes, uh, you split it with your crew. So it'll be split with four ways. I think there's four of us on this mission. Me, John Marston, uh, Charles, Sean. I think that's it. There may be another one. Uh... And then half of whatever you make goes to the uh, gang. You can spend that on your hideout or uh, your base, buy boats, uh, make it where you get annual income, or not annual, uh, a timely income by selling eggs. And you can buy food and ammo like in bulk. Uh, it's easier that way. And then the red eye, the dead eye, the health, and the stamina system. Uh, it's the more people you kill, you get you level your dead eye up. The more kills in dead eye, you level your dead eye up. The more you run stamina, health. It's kind of like the GTA aspect. If the game gets too heavy into audio, uh. I'll stop talking, but uh, <laughs> it kills me fast forwarding voices. This is just looting, so we're gonna run through it fairly quickly here. Uh, this kind of banter between uh, Arthur Morgan and Sean happened a lot. <laughs> I don't want to really show you everything, so we're just doing small missions and uh, goofy parts. Arthur, we got a problem. There's two on horses. How many you say? Just see a pair of the... uh, in that case, we're 
said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? It's too good to be true. Yep, and we're done. Okay, let's deal with them. <laughs> All right, this next session, uh, I like because of just the way it felt being surrounded by a bunch of rednecks with bows. Uh, one of us died here, but I'm not really going to show who. Uh, not really wanting to spoil the game for anybody. The campaign is great. But uh, I'm going to put some of this in slow motion here in a minute, and uh, pardon my aim, but just the immersion, not really, I wouldn't, immersion is not the right word for it. Uh, like you'll see besides the arrow I just take to the back of the head. Um, when the bullets hit the log in front of me, the smoke that comes out, and uh, the bark bits that fly off, I don't know, just the fact that the game runs this smoothly. Uh, even though we're at like one eighth speed and it's going frame by frame uh, <laughs> when you're going at full speed it's not this bad but uh, just the just the amount of detail in this game now lumbago is uncle's excuse for everything uh, this is probably one of the stupidest things I've had to do in a game 100% uh, and I'm not even going to talk during it. I'm just going to sit here and let you enjoy it for everything it is. We got to get started before the rains come. saw in a board and I'll cut it I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it well we worked so hard to build a little house together in the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever no matter what the weather we're together
saw in a board and I'll cut it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Any weather. We're together. I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> What's this? That's stupid. Holy! Holy! What? I've never been wrecked so hard in my life. After your boy makes some bread? It's supposed to be like a coyote den. Like a coyote den? Has to be. It's like multiple small holes oh, in dude, the rocks. We jo dude, we made Josh do the handiwork for us to make him clear all the forts and shit. You wanna go in one? Make him work off his Aiden Plus subscription? Alright, well, I'll be back later. Ooh. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go AK. Got a chest in here. Oh. Fuck off. Gotta be trying. Health is displayed. No, I, I just Arthur. need some. Because the body oh, Let me get over the fucking fence. There we go. Yo, get me some biscuits. <laughs> 